various flowers bloom from the walls and lawns during the Joseon dynasty. There are flowers such as azaleas, the flower of love, chrysanthemums, dandelions, and more. Among them all, there was one special flower that was often seen near the platform of sauce crooks. It is a coxcomb, a flower that represents everlasting loyalty and the subject of today's story. This flower with its red wavy petals is called mendirami in Korean, meaning smooth-skinned because of its soft and silky stalk. Korean people also used to call the flower kekwanhwa because it looked like a coxcomb. However, more noticeable than its brilliant looks is the virtue it represents, loyalty. According to an old story, there used to be a warrior who was brave and loyal in the past. His name was Muryong. The king trusted General Muryong and knew him to be brave and loyal. However, the king also had other advisors who secretly despised him. They wanted to revolt and seize the throne, so they framed General Muryong. They framed Muryong with treason. Believing the lies that seemed true, the king ordered his soldiers to execute Muryong. Muryong fell at the hands of the warriors. The evil vassals revealed their true colors as soon as Muryong fell. The warriors tried to harm the king with their swords. At that moment, General Muryong suddenly stood up and protected his king. He died after making sure the king was safe. Finally realizing how loyal Muryong had been, the king buried him in the mountains with care. Red coxcomb flowers shaped like shields grew near his tomb, and people came to regard the flower as a sign of Muryong's loyalty. There are many stories about the red coxcomb flowers. It represents beauty and everlasting loyalty.